In this video, I want to make a basic layout of the page. I want to use Bootstrap framework. So I'm opened getbootstrap.com and I need the link to its CSS file. I'm opening index and just paste it here. And also, I want to have navbar. So, documentation, components, navbar. Copy it and paste it here. Okay, I want the dark one, so I need CSS classes. And also I want to delete drop down menu and this disabled link. Okay. F5. Also, I want to have a margin between navbar and main content. So I want to add margin bottom five. Great. And also somewhere here, I want to use basic bootstrap layout. It's two divs container and it's child div with the raw CSS classes. It's the block for the main content. And now we have a problem here. As you can know, any website has some web elements that appeared repeatedly on any page of the website. And most sites will have some form of branding or logo Apart from the branding, there are normally other parts like navigation bars, sidebars, menu, breadcrumbs, header, footer, and so on, like the Bootstrap website has, for example. It turns out that to show to a user common elements of a page, for example, a menu, I would have to add these common elements to every page of my project. And that's literally, I have to copy and paste a certain HTML code to every page. And if I want to add or remove a link from this menu, I have to make changes on every page that uses this menu. And it's wasteful and tedious work. It's inefficient. And uh, to solve this issue, Flask, to be exactly Jinja 2 templater, provides mechanism that's well known as template inheritance. And the main idea of the template inheritance is to create a basic HTML template that will contain all common elements for every page of a website, a header, a menu, a sidebar, or a footer, or anything you want to have on every page. And um, any specific for every page elements or a data will be injected to this basic template. So I have to make some base HTML file that will contain all common elements for all pages. Um, and I won't just rename my index HTML file to the base HTML file. And uh, inside the templates folder, I'm creating empty index HTML file. And um, now I have to say to Flask that I've got the base template that should be filled with uh, a content 
of this specific page. And to do it, we have to use the extends keyword inside curly brackets paired with the percent sign. Extends and uh, in quotes the name of the template I want to extend. It's a base HTML. And we can test it a five. And now I've got the menu navbar that was defined in the base HTML file. Drop down menu. Okay, it was defined in the, in the base HTML, but my view function renders index HTML. So the template inheritance is working. And now the next step is to specify in the base HTML template all places where specific content will be inserted from other HTML templates. And uh, we can do it with the block keyword wrapped with the curly brackets and person signs, like we did before. So I want to have title, block keyword, and then the name of this block title. And I have to close it with the end block keyword. And the same block I want to have for the main part and it will be named content. And also in every specific template of my project I have to do the same. I have to define the title block and the content block. So I am using index and I will use my snippets title index page for example and uh, the content will be h1 and let's test it f5 i've got the title index page and i've got my h1 header defined in index html and navbar was defined in base html that's the template inheritance. So if you like the video, please a thumb up and subscribe to the channel.